Hello, Fab family. It is Antoinette Williams, the founder of Fab, personal growth and development. Fab stands for Focus Attitude Behavior. Focus on your attitude to change your behavior. Why? Because change begins with him. Let's talk about it Tuesday, so let's talk about it, okay? My last video, I had to watch it too, and I was like, God dang, girl, you sound down. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm going to be totally transparent, right? Being sober, right? And not like self-medicating, indulging into substances and things that are not good for you. Um, this is rough for me. It is. This is rough for me because I am feeling everything, okay? And when I say I'm feeling everything, I'm talking about I'm feeling old stuff. I'm feeling new stuff. Sometimes I feel like I'm feeling future stuff. I just don't know and I don't like it and it really got to the point where it was just like what are we even doing this for we have these goals and dreams and ambitions and everything else and it's like but what is it all really for like you want to get this and get that and do this and do that for what and I'm really big on what is the why right and I thought my why was big enough and then you know your mind can start to play tricks on you right and it's like is it really worth it is it you have a choice like it seems like we have been dealing with some long suffering and why are we continuing this and it's like yeah because it's temporary it gets better and it's like yeah but when when does it get better this is whack this is so whack like every day is a new challenge it's a new experience and that is great that is wonderful however i'm dealing with all types of feelings okay like grief really does come in stages and waves and everything else. And I'm not even talking about like the physical loss of my father, but down to like friendships and stuff that it was like, okay, it's over. We accepted it. It is what it is. And then it's like triggered, you know what? And um, here we are again. And now we're going down the rabbit hole of thoughts of, yo, they really out here playing in my face. Like, yo, I really wasted my time. And it's like, love, you cannot go back. You can only go forward. You have control over you, okay? That's it. That is it. My children, all their different personalities, all of their feelings and everything that they, uh, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. And like, yeah, that's a priority and that's important to you. And it's just like, there's one of me. Can you change it? Can you fix it? If there's anything that you can do about it, can you do something about it? If so, do it now. If not, I don't want to hear about it yeah yeah like just in this mode of like i just don't care i don't care i don't care i don't want to hear your sob story i don't care what you're going through i don't care either do something about it or shut up and it got to the point where i was just over myself like i didn't even want to be around myself like oh my gosh how can i get away from you your negative nancy debbie downer like you're just oh has anybody ever felt like that with themselves like found themselves getting frustrated with themselves anybody else just me sobriety is um it's a beautiful thing because it provides clarity okay but this is a tough journey dealing with everything and it feels like it's all happening at one time and it's out of my control it's out of my control and sometimes i feel like i'm going crazy and once again, the thought of why are we even doing this? We don't have to do this. You can just choose not to. And it's like, yeah. See, at first I wanted to run away. And then it was like, yeah, no, it's still there. Just end it all, you know? Yeah, and it's like, oh, but, you know, you're loved. I don't care. There's going to be people that miss you. I don't care. That's a selfish thing. It is. It is. It's finally a choice that I can make, you know? Clearly, I didn't make that choice. I didn't do it. I'm still here. We're still figuring it out, you know what I mean? And um, do I make? Do I think I made the best decision? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We're going to keep going through this journey, and we shall overcome, right? And we'll figure this out, and we are going to do what we can do with what we have, and... Expect great things to happen. I just know that with everything that has been happening in my life, there has to be something major, major, major life-changing coming for me. It has to. Otherwise, 
once again, what was the point of it all? You know what I mean? It don't make no sense to go through all of this. And it's just like, yeah, but you're an inspiration and motivation for someone else. That is wonderful for them. But like for me, I'm thinking about me right now. You know, like, hey, big guy, G-O-D, God, can you see me? Help me, please help me, please. Yeah, so that's where I've been, guys. So I apologize. Like, I haven't been posting like I normally post, and I apologize. Life has been lifing. We're trusting the process. We're respecting the process. We're still here. We're still moving and grooving and expecting great things to happen. We have a no matter what attitude, even when you feel like giving up. Keep going. Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I want to talk about, about talk about it Tuesday, okay? And just share and be totally transparent that like um, this chapter of life right now, I would call this, um, it's not funny. This is not the funny part. Yeah, it's real and we're going to get through it, okay? So anyways, yeah, have a great day. I'm about to get up in here with my investor and give my best, nothing less than my best. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. And um, if you can relate to this, comments, please. If you've been here before, comments, please. How did you get out of this place? Okay, please share and have a great day.